Hello there, my name's Lloyd Evans and you're watching the John Cedars channel from The Bunker and in this video we need to talk about the latest Caleb and Sophia Become Jehovah's Friend cartoon that has been released by Watchtower. The timing of this particular cartoon in my view couldn't be worse for reasons that will become clear but without further ado Let's take a look at Lesson 34 of the Become Jehovah's Friends series. And the governing body will continue to do everything in our power to provide the needed relief aid to our dear brothers in these affected areas. We love you very much and thank you for tuning in for this update. I wish we this could help. Me too. Oh, I have an idea. So straight away, I'm a little bit creeped out here because you have this celebration of indoctrination. You have these two Jehovah's Witness children, Caleb and Sophia, on their own, basically under Watchtower's spell, you could say. No parents around to supervise what they're being taught or what information they're being given. They're just there in front of the TV absorbing a JW broadcasting episode, which is having an effect. It's having the effect that Watchtower wants, which is convincing Caleb and Sophia that they need to contribute. And the pretext to this uh, request for money is uh, disaster relief. And as I've already explained on this channel multiple times, I don't really need to explain it further other than to say when Jehovah's Witnesses talk about disaster relief they're really talking about helping their own which in my view isn't true charity you do not you do not only look after your your own organization or members of your own club if you're remotely altruistic or uh, or humanitarian you help out people and come to people's aid regardless of what their religious beliefs are on occasion jehovah's witnesses will extend disaster relief to non-jehovah's witnesses but it's only on an incidental basis the main target of jehovah's witness disaster relief is jehovah's witnesses and here caleb and sophia are being convinced again without the benefit of parental supervision that they share responsibility for caring for this urgent need. I have an idea. What is it, sweetie? Can I give this to our brothers affected by the hurricane? Of course you can. We'll put it in the contribution box on Sunday. My piggy bank was empty. I guess I can't help. There are many things you can do to help. First, you can save some money for next time. So there are two things I need to talk about here. First of all, Sophia says to her father, can I give this to our brothers affected by the hurricane? And her father says, yes, of course you can. No problem there. We'll put it in the contribution box at the next Kingdom Hall meeting. Now, the, the question was, can I give this to the brothers? Implying, I see that there's a need. There's been a hurricane. I want to get my money into the hands of the local Jehovah's Witnesses who are personally affected. Watch how will not let you do that. Watchtower says, give the money to us and we'll worry about the relief effort. Trust us, we'll make sure that if we get enough money through, 
we're going to look after these particular needs. But what really happens is that when you donate money to Watchtower, it all goes into the pot and Watchtower will spend whatever it thinks is appropriate um, on disaster relief. For all Sophia knows, her her coin could go towards settling a child abuse lawsuit or paying a judgment that's been awarded against Watchtower in a child abuse lawsuit. She has no direct say as to how her penny gets spent. I also found it hilarious how Caleb is distraught because he's only managed to find a button in his um, piggy bank. It's not really a piggy bank, is it? It's kind of a dragon bank. Are Jehovah's Witnesses allowed to uh, have mythical creatures like that? Hey, that's another issue entirely. But anyway, Caleb is all distraught because he's only managed to find a button. And his dad says, don't worry. Um, there's lots of ways that we can help our brothers. <laughs> Solution number one, save more money. <laughs> Having already convinced these kids that they need to literally empty their piggy banks for Watchtower, Watchtower is then saying, and if your piggy banks are empty, make sure you save money for the next time we come calling for donations. You can save some money for next time. Second, you can think about them and pray for them. You know, Jesus felt the same way when he was here on earth. Do you remember what he said when he helped the leper? I want to! Yes, he did what he could to help others, just like you. That makes us very proud of you. So the two solutions presented to Caleb and Sophia, faced with this dilemma of how do we help our brothers and sisters are, number one, save more money, because you haven't got enough, and number two, pray. Pray for your brothers. This seems to me to be basically a demand by Watchtower not to do anything practical necessarily, not to make sure money gets directly to people in a, in a disaster situation. The, the onus here, as far as I can tell, is to make sure that Watchtower gets money. And it would be disturbing enough if this video, if this were a video that was being kind of targeted at Jehovah's Witness adults, but it's actually being used to manipulate children. The very fact that it's a cartoon done in a in a kind of modern CGI uh, way, which is, I guess, true of, of all of the Become Jehovah's Friend cartoons, it's manipulative, it's targeted at children. And it, unlike some Caleb and Sophia cartoons, which you could argue... Uh, are intended are clearly intended to instill good values if you're a jehovah's witness watching this you have to admit that the the objective here is not to instill good values in children the objective here is to make sure watchtower gets money even if it means children emptying their piggy banks and what i find fascinating is that this is this video is current so this is a 2019 Caleb and Sophia video but in 2015 we had almost the exact same message
So I kid you not, in 2015, we have Jehovah's Witness children being manipulated, you could say guilt-tripped, into giving their ice cream money to Watchtower. That's in 2015. Only four years later, we get another video, this time telling children to empty their piggy banks. Exactly how many times must children be given this message? Out of all of the things, out of all of the wisdom or all of the direction or all of the advice that children could be receiving, advice on how to be good people, advice on how to be kind to others, out of all of the, the, the issues that Watchtower could be repeating itself on, the one that apparently is of most urgency is Watchtower needs your money. Please give your money to Jehovah's Organization. That's how we show that we're generous. That's how we show that we're kind. It's by giving money to Watchtower. This is, is deeply disturbing. Even more disturbing in light of the recent video I shared on this channel at the beginning of last month of governing body member Anthony Morris who was you could say caught in a very compromising situation here's some of the footage if you haven't seen it already by all means watch the whole video if you if you're not one of the 100,000 plus who who have already seen the footage but you have there a governing body member um, being found in a liquor store on a Sunday morning with a cart full of very expensive single malt and the guy who recorded the video and actually engaged with Tony Morris uh, divulged exactly what kind of whiskey it was and in what quantity and we find out that we're talking $850 at least um, on 10 oh sorry on 12 bottles of uh, single malt whiskey you have to ask, how is it appropriate for a governing body member to be emptying out his wallet for whiskey while at the same time children are being asked to give their ice cream money to Watchtower? And only weeks after this video becomes available, and we know that Watchtower knows about it because there's been videos uploaded to YouTube with people calling into Watchtower and letting them know. I know that at least one governing body helper knows about the Bottlegate video. And despite all of that uproar, literally just a few weeks later, Watchtower releases the video telling children to empty their piggy banks for Watchtower. They have no shame. No shame whatsoever. And again, it's one thing to manipulate adults. It's one thing trying to guilt trip adults into coughing up, as Watchtower has done, by the way, in its JW Broadcasting episodes, most notably, I think it was the May 2015 JW Broadcasting episode in which Stephen Lett infamously um, told witnesses of a shortfall and actually gave them misinformation uh, regarding the uh, the arrangement for building new kingdom halls and what what I refer to as the stealth tithing arrangement. He completely led witnesses along with a, a false narrative about all of that with the aim of making them cough up money. It's one thing to manipulate adults in that way, but I'm sorry, let the kids buy their ice cream and let the kids save their money in piggy banks without you insisting on getting your grubby hands on their carefully saved money. Teach them some thrift. Teach them how to save money. Teach them how to enjoy spending money on things that they like. Don't insist that they hand their money over to you. So I, I do find this um, this latest Caleb and Sophia video disturbing, just as I found the ice cream video disturbing. It's it's disturbing full stop that children are being manipulated at all. But factor in this um, obsession with getting kids to 
send through their money and to donate money, um, especially using disasters as an excuse when there's no transparency at all as to how funds are allocated for disasters. It's just very um, alarming and, again, disturbing. But that's pretty much everything I have to share with you about this particular video. I do hope you have found my thoughts interesting. Don't forget to subscribe to the John Cedars channel for more such videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching.